name is Anton, counsel with Roof Framing 101, and today we are going to learn how to calculate a shed roof rafter. Now a lot of you are probably thinking, ooh, it's a shed roof. But in this particular case, this shed roof is going to be a 3 and 12, and it's going to plane in to an 8 and 12 roof. And this is where the complexity comes in, because a lot of people don't know where the intersection point between those work those two points comes and how to calculate that. So we're going to learn how to do that. We're also going to learn how to calculate the angle where that shed roof kind of ties in. <clears throat> we're also going to learn how to calculate your heel heights using the calculator so you don't actually have to lay them out on the rafter themselves. So this way you can do it all from the comfort of your office or your tailgate. Okay, so as you can see here we have a uh, shed roof. We have a 2 by 10 shed roof that runs at a 3 and 12. And then uh, you can see that we have a 2x10 rafter that runs up for the main span here, and that runs at an 8 and 12. So we have a 3 and 12 that comes up in planes into the 8 and 12. And it's at this position to find how do you figure out where this plane in section comes in. This is hard for most people to figure out, which in turn makes it to where they cannot cut this rafter before this rafter has been cut and installed and built so that they can plane a string line up to figure out where this comes in so they can find out the length of your 3 and 12. So we're going to teach you how to calculate this rafter length before this one has ever even been put up in the air. The first thing that we're going to have to figure out how to do is calculate your heel heights with a calculator without having a 2 by 10 in front of you and actually drawing the plumb cut and the seat cut on there so that you can measure what the heel height is or as some people call it the hap height, the height above plate. So the first way that we're going to do this, if you look at the calculator here, we've got a 2x10, both of them are 2x10 rafters. So to figure this out, we know that standard 2x10s actually measure at 9.5 inches from here to here. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure the 8 and 12 first. So we're going to take 9 inch, 1 half, that's the width of the rafter, and we're going to enter that in as the run. Then we're going to enter in an 8 inch pitch, and we're going to hit diagonal. So the plumb cut length of the rafter, as you can see here, this is your coming down, the plumb cut that you would cut in your rafter is 11 and 7 sixteenths of an inch. That's how long this cut is when this way is nine and a half inches. So then we're going to clear the calculator and we're actually now we have a two by six wall here. So the width of the two by six wall is five and a half inches so that we know we want to put a five and a half inch seat cut here. So we're going to take 5 inch, 1 half of an inch, run, 8 inch pitch, and now we're going to hit the rise because as this comes down, we have our seat cut here. We know we have 5 and a half inches and then we want to figure out what the rise is. So it's giving us this length right here and we have 3 and 11 sixteenths. Now we're going to take that and minus it from the other. 11 inch. 7 sixteenths minus 3 inch 11 sixteenths equals 7 and 3 quarter. Let's do that one more time. 11 inch 7 sixteenths minus 3 inch and 11 sixteenths equals 7 and 3 quarters. So we have a 7 and 3 quarter heel height is what the measurement of this is. Now we're going to figure it for the 2 by 10. So same exact way, but we have a 3 and 12. So we're going to take 9 inch, 1 half, run, 3 inch pitch, diagonal. We have a 9 and 13 sixteenths is our plumb cut, which is this measurement again, but on a 3 and 12. And then we're going to take 5 inch, 1 half, run, 3 inch pitch, rise, and we have 1 inch and 3 eighths minus those from each other 9 inch 13 sixteenths minus 1 inch 3 eighths equals 8 and 7 sixteenths so these are our two heel heights right here now if you notice on this diagram okay so if you'd like to purchase the rest of this video you're gonna to need to go to roofframing 101.com so let's type that in up here www roofframing101.com 
you can see this is our site here uh, brings you immediately to our blog page and uh, oh, you'll see this bar that just popped up here you can uh, enter your email into this bar here and become a subscriber and you'll get a free gift and then we'll also notify you of any new products that come out and uh, and new blog posts so if you'd like to do that you can now uh, if you come over to the products tab click on products you'll notice um, there's quite a few products that we carry and uh, many that are coming soon If you notice down here in the DVD series it's not out yet but it is coming it's gonna be a complete DVD of three different volumes and uh, we're actually going to calculate how to cut full roofs um, in in the office and then we're actually gonna go out in the field and we're gonna cut them on site and uh, teach you how to put them together how to cut them and everything so it's gonna be a great uh, great series there but uh, to purchase the uh, the video that you started, the teaser, um, you notice number one says uh, tutorial e-video on how to calculate shed roof rafters when they intersect another roof, and just click the um, click here tab, and it brings you to a different window here, and you can see that it's uh, 995, and uh, if you click the buy now tab through PayPal you can purchase it if you have a PayPal account you can just purchase it through PayPal or uh, if you don't you can still buy it through PayPal and use uh, your credit card so um, that's how you do it and I hope to have you as a customer thank you